Good morning, everybody, and welcome to day 24 of the God Hears Her devotional. Our passage this morning will be in Habakkuk chapter 1, verses 1 through 4. So I feel are ready. Let's get started. And the word says, the prophecy that Habakkuk the prophet received. How long, Lord, must I call for your help? But you do not listen or cry out to you. Violence, but you do not save. Why do you make me look at injustice? Why do you tolerate wrongdoing? Destruction and violence are before me. There is strife and conflict abounds. Therefore, the law is paralyzed, and justice never prevails. The wicked him and the righteous, so that justice is perverted. One second while I attempt to piece together a scripture summary for this, because when I read it last night for prep, it didn't make sense. So give me one second while I try to piece together a scripture summary, please. Our scripture summary this morning actually comes from the part just below it, which is verse 5. And that says, Look at the nations and watch. And be utterly amazed, for I am going to do something in your days that you would not believe, even if you are told. So, from that part of the scripture, I wrote down, God is preparing you for your dream life. Be ready and get excited. That comes from Habakkuk. Chapter 1, verse 5. Um, let me, let me fix something real quick. There we go. So, um, the past year and a half, I would say, from summer of 23 to 24, which is to spring of 24, which is now. Um, for the most part, besides my Bible study videos and a little bit of life sprinkled in, I have been pretty quiet in my day-to-day -day life. I just teach on Wednesdays and stay at home because God has ordered me to stay quiet for the time being um, because that means that he's possibly preparing me for something bigger and better. So while Yes, I am still filming Bible study. I have been pretty quiet the last year and a half, I would say. Um, I don't do much except teach school with my kids and go home. And that has a purpose. I don't know what that purpose is yet, but that's why God has put me in this season of resting in solitude. So while I'm in my season of resting in solitude, I'm also preparing for my next um, season of life, if that makes any sense. Um, thank y'all so much for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, everybody.